it's your boy Serrano and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for subscribing and I wanted to talk about one of my favorite phones from 2019. Um, this phone is called the Motorola P30 Play. In the US, you can retrieve this phone as the Motorola One. This variant is actually available for um, in China for a lot less money. So if you actually check out some of the links down below, you can find this device as low as $180. We're gonna start with performance. We're, we're actually getting four gigabytes of RAM, uh, six, gig, six gigabytes of ROM, and we're actually getting the Snapdragon 625 processor. So we're actually getting a really good performer here. And I was actually able to get through any task I wanted to with absolutely no lag whatsoever. Now we were actually able to play PUBG on the highest graphics and it was very responsive and there weren't any lags or any belly aches or any headaches, hiccups or anything like that whatsoever. So I was actually quite impressed with the Snapdragon 600 series for this device. Now, other things to note with the performance, we're actually getting Android 9.0 Pi right out of the box. So I was quite impressed because the, the phone overall just felt very snappy. It was really smooth and really fluent throughout the whole time I was using it. And I found myself reaching for the Motorola One slash P30 Play constantly because of how good the performance was. To take a look at the Geekbench scores for this device. So you can see we actually got an 865 single core score. We also got a 40, a 4156 multi-score. You can see right here some of the other um, information right here. The model, it does say Motorola One inside just in case you were wondering if this was really a Motorola One device. So it's actually official right here and you can see that is a 2.02 gigahertz base frequency processor. We are getting some really nice performance in this device just to say the least you won't be disappointed. I mean this thing was really snappy, really fluent and there weren't any stutters whatsoever. So I would say if somebody is coming from an Apple device um, and they're looking to transfer over to Android, this is a, a definite phone I could honestly recommend because of how great the performance actually is. So let's jump on to the next category. Inside of the Motorola One, we are rocking a 3000 milliamp battery. Now with the 3000 milliamp battery, you would actually expect a lot more for a phone that is marked at 399 in the US. But what I actually came to realize is that I was getting excellent performance on the Motorola um, One. Now, average battery life, SOT, I was getting around six to seven hours. Like a lot of the time I was actually averaging two complete full days with the Motorola One without hooking it up to the charger. So what it did advertise is that you are getting that turbo power charge with the 15 watt battery uh, charger that actually if you hooked it up to the charger for um, 20 minutes, you were getting six hours of battery life. So I was really impressed with the battery life of the um, Motorola One and I'll show you some screenshots right now. Now you can see this was actually a screenshot and it says uh, last full charge right here 33 hours. It does say that the screen usage since full charge was 5 hours and 37 minutes. You can actually see right here that I was at 10% at this point in time. Let's go over here and you can see I was at 32% on another day after 23 hours with five hours of screen usage. So that was, I was getting really good screen on time with this device and I was actually really impressed that I was getting able to power all the way up to four hours and 40 minutes with 40% 
left on my device after 18 hours of use. You're gonna get a whole day without any charger with this device. So if you're somebody who is a, a, a charger hoarder and constantly has their phone on charge, you definitely don't need to worry about that. So the display on the Motorola One is a 5.86 display. Uh, when you measure across it, you're actually getting 720 by 1520 pixels per inch, which is actually 720 um, or HD plus quality. You're getting 287 pixels per inch on this device. And if you're coming from an Apple phone, you won't even notice the difference whatsoever. It's actually really nice and does get bright in outdoors visibility so you won't have any problems with the brightness or worrying about if you're going to be able to see your screen in direct sunlight it does have um, double glass dual glass on the back and uh, on the front so this is a really nice glass on glass design and 90 percent of the time i always keep a case on this device i actually don't want it to scratch or get damaged just by how really beautiful the glass on here looks it's actually one of the cleanest devices i've ever laid eyes on and it's one of the things that keeps me coming back to the motorola one device i could definitely say this device is one of the most attractive devices i've ever seen in the mid-range segment that glass over top of white on white and then when you turn it to the other side it just has really nice look with the all metal edges around it that are actually aluminum and that thing just looks really really cool and you can just see how much detail they put into designing this really nice design of the Motorola One device. So when it comes to the build quality of this device I definitely gotta give it praise where praise deserves it and it's definitely going to be a 10 out of a 10. I gotta say this is one of the best builds I've ever seen on a device um, for this price. It's just really premium. It almost gives you the feeling that you're holding something in the same price bracket as um, an Apple product. What's also really cool is that you do get chopped for a flash um, light and you do get twist to get to your camera. So I think there was a lot of cool features in here, but that definitely helped out with that Moto display. And those features were definitely something that I would use on a day-to-day -day basis. So, um, you, you know, that camera was just really easy to get to. And I always found myself looking for something in the dark and this is actually one of the most convenient ways to find it. It is actually splash resistant. Um, you are getting that 19 by nine ratio with that notch on the top, which is actually really cool. You're getting that um, crafted glass, which is like laser treated um, with the ceramic laser. It's like really high quality stuff here. Just to put the icing on top of the cake, you do get a headphone jack and type C charging. So that was definitely really cool. Also, one of the things you wanna note is that the speaker is right here and you do get a microphone right here. So you're not getting dual speaker, but one of the things you wanna note is that this device can get extremely loud when you tweak the sound under custom. When you get to the custom option, all you have to do is turn every single knob that you see right here to the top. And that sound did get extremely loud during testing. I actually put this device in other people's hand while the phone was actually playing music and they were extremely impressed with the sound quality that was actually coming out of it. So I could definitely say that the sound quality is about an eight out of a 10. And when it gets to 100%, it can get a little distorted, but you're getting some really good tones, bass, tremor, and the phone just has a nice clarity to it. Now, the most notable features on the Motorola One is the fast charging capability. This thing charges quicker than any device I've used 
thus far. You're also actually getting 4K recording on the rear camera that we'll definitely go ahead and take a look at some samples with. Also, you are getting Type-C charging, a really premium design, which is made of glass and metal, and a case that actually comes in the box to protect your asset. So I gotta say they definitely did a great job when it came to actually producing high quality product with the Motorola One device. Thank you for watching. As always, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and click the like button. Also, every single like helps the channel. Definitely hit that like button, click the bell icon, 
so that you can get notified every single time a new video releases to the channel. Again, I thank you guys for watching. Thank you for staying locked in. It's your boy Serrano. And in the meantime, have a great morning, afternoon, evening. And depending on where you are, have a great night. Peace.